Okay, hey, hi. Hey, welcome back to Project Zero. I don't know why it's called Fatal Frame. Maybe it's the the Western name? Yeah, because everywhere it says Project Zero. Alright, uh, let's see. Last time we covered a couple of episodes. Yeah, we did fine for you, he, he, me, no. Uh, yeah, we were, um, yeah, it's the Western name. Okay, thank you. Um, we went to a mountain and then went looking for Fuyu Hihimino and we found her and then we photographed her a lot and yeah in this game when you photograph uh, when you take a picture with the camera obscura you get rid of ghosts so yeah Fuyu he was uh, a fresh ghost. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's jump into the third drop. Third, th third. Oh God, why is it so difficult? Ren Hojo, the author who sent Hisuka uh, to find the photographs, takes a closer look at the album. One photo catches his eye, and he decides to investigate further. He goes to the inn with a camera obscura and Rui, his assistant. Also, there is more than one camera obscura. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, let's see, does it save? Yeah, it doesn't save the ones that I found, but when I find more in the level, it seems like it gives me a better score. So more completion and faster completion time I guess gives you a better score for the episode all right let's jump in post-mortem photography Ren Hojo okay Ren Hojo a writer is haunted by a recurring dream in which he kills a young girl during a ritual he receive a, receives an album of post-mortem photographs located on his request by Hisoka. Upon viewing one of the photos, Ren recognizes the very scene from his dreams. Eager to delve further into this puzzling mystery, Ren heads to the abandoned inn in person this time, bringing along his assistant Rui Ka Kagamiya. Okay. Well... Rui is probably gonna die. Hey, hi, kitty. きれいだけど、なんだか悲しそうな人ですね。ああ。こういうタイプの女の人苦手じゃなかったんですか。ああ。他にもこの民族学者が調べたものがあるかもな。また黒沢さんに依頼しますか。その場所へ行こう。<
setup and then adventure so far i should take the shadow re shadow reading report with me too it may come in handy Rui is always complaining about me leaving things on the sofa wow so many books okay right uh, I came across this book while researching Mount Hikami, the Maiden Slayer. I don't understand how well now or unknown the camera obscura is. Yep, I don't either. I mean, this is from what I, I understand, from what I just found out. I mean, I haven't really been researching, but yeah, this is the fourth game in the series, so... Uh, there's some story to catch up on, it seems. I don't think this story has anything to do with what's going on now, but you never know. The Maiden Slayer, Mount Hikami, has long been steeped in legends revolving around suicide and ghosts. Whoops. Oh. I nearly fell off my chair. Revered as a sac sacred place since time immemorial, it was once the worshipping ground and home of many shrine ma maidens. Once there was a man who fell in love with a maiden and came to the mountain in order to court her. However, she remained loyal to her duties and refused his advances. Enraged, the man killed her and threw her into a river. Several days later, he returned with a torch and blade and proceeded to brutally butcher all the shrine maidens on the mountain, tossing them into the river as he went. Sheesh. The waters of the mountain flowed red with blood, carrying the slaughtered corpses of the maidens all the way down to the pool of purification. It is said that the eyes of each of the shrine maidens had been gouged out. Well, just before killing the first maiden and tossing her into the river, the man's eyes met with those of his victim. Something in her eyes led him to murder the others, or so the legend says. Uh, the legend goes. Without the maiden's dead, he killed himself by cutting his own throat. The ghosts of shrine maidens, still drenched in those bloodied waters, have appeared on the mountain ever since. It is said that those who meet their eyes are led to their deaths. They follow the women into the water and drown themselves. Though only a legend, the story is believed to be based on an actual incident. Local records show that the bodies of several shrine maidens were discovered long ago and that all rituals and rites ceased to be performed from that day on. Ah, a measured response to be sure. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like it's super rare, but the people who do have it are super casual, like, ah, don't forget to take your camera obscura. <laughs> yeah, just to get rid of the ghosts that might, you know, appear. Uh, yeah. <sighs> yeah, now... I've been, like, thinking since last week about these kinds of stories where someone just kills a bunch of people and then there's ghosts and stuff and the top sense and sentence over there though only a legend the story is believed to be based on an actual incident like yeah the i was gonna say the past time was fucked up but uh, you know the present ain't so rosy either uh, yeah and I'm guessing because like it's a island there's a lot of uh, Japanese legends like this like I mean because it hasn't um, uh, it keeps circulating and going out of control like a game of broken telephone but yeah one could argue the present day is even worse yeah 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 yep yep yeah agreed 
This looks like part of Rui's journal. It must have gotten mixed in here while tidying. I feel bad reading it, but... Oh, come on, don't read someone else's journal. Ah, uh, don't read, don't read, don't read. Okay, let's read it. Mr. Hojo can clean up after himself. For someone who's lived alone for so long, he's incapable of housework. He can't cook and he's bad at tidying up. I'm more like his caretaker than his assistant. Hey, I feel close to Mr. Hojo. He loses things all the time. Uh, I don't... I kinda... And whenever he doesn't have a book he needs, he blows up. Uh, not, not really. I lost the connection. He usually ends up asking Miss Kurosawa for help. Uh, that's Hisoka, the teacher of the previous protagonist. The one who got yoinked into the river last time. One time when I was trying to sort off all his books, there was one I couldn't find anywhere. It's like it just disappeared. Miss Kurosawa found it with her shadow reading. She went into his room on her own, then came out, came back out a little while later with the missing book. She just smiled and said something about making the invisible visible. What is this shadow reading business anyway? That reminds me of that one time. I was tidying up and I came across something I'd never seen before. It was like Miss Kurosawa said, the invisible became visible. It was kept inside the notebox. I don't even know what it was. I put it aside, aside to sort out later on, but when I went to take a proper look, it had vanished. It must have gone invisible again. Oh no. So let's go find the chest. I can't go without the camera obscura. I left it on the desk. Okay. But first... I may have some information that I can use. Who knows what... When I might need it. Yuri's report. Looks like a report written by Yuri. Seems to be about the funny. Yuri. Who was Yuri? Client Ren Hojo, report by Yuri Kozukata. Oh, that was the previous uh, protagonist. Yeah. Verified by Hisuka Kurosawa. Uh, details of request, find items, post-mortem, photography, obtain if possible, perform shadow reading using a post-mortem phot photograph found on Man Hikami as a... Hikami? Hikami? As a token. Located album of postmortem photographs in Ichiro Minor. Took custody of the object. Yami Marik sent that book to the Shadow Realm. So she had to go play a children's card game with Joey Wheeler over the fate of the book. I don't get the reference. Um, okay, okay. Ikomori Pond. What? Why is this showing me a bunch of stuff? I can go without... Yeah, yeah okay. Oh, it's Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, I've, I've never watched it. Okay. I've only played, like, the old card games. Those were fun. Can I get more stuff? Wait, what was the... I think I need the camera too. But if I take it, will I... Ah, uh, let's see. Boop. Ren's camera obscura. Got the measure upgrade. There's an unfinished manuscript on the desk. It doesn't have a title. I'll need more materials to solidify the theme. Memorial por portraiture. The act of photographing dead bodies was a practice in Western countries in... 18th century, a time when photography was still a rare and expensive luxury. The bodies of recently deceased family members and loved ones were photographed in lifelike poses as a solemn keepsake of remembrance while researching the phenomenon. I discovered that a similar custom made its way to Japan as well. Didn't... I think we watched the movie with... with this kind of Photographs, maybe, some time ago. Uh, only seen the bridge barrier. I see. 
The body itself recently deceased family members and loved ones were photographed in lifelike poses as a solemn, as a solemn keepsake of remembrance while researching the phenomenon. I discovered a similar right, yes, known as Portmont post-mortem photo photographs a small number of these photos still remain i have been fortunate <laughs> enough to obtain one such photograph which i found to contain a certain beauty lacking in its western counterparts when photography first arrived in japan it was accompanied by the prevalent superstition that photographs could steal a person's soul whether anyone truly believed this or not, it surely gave post-mortem photography a special significance in Japan. If photos were taken with this belief in mind, then post-mortem photographs would not simply have been taken as keepsakes or for mourning purposes. Rather, the practice may have carried a certain deeper spiritual significance. Definitely was a thing, yeah. I don't think it was super widespread. It was also done in Europe, so I don't know why it says that. Well, it's it. They are saying that it originated in the Western world and then came to Japan. So, yeah, Western world in, includes Europe. <laughs> it's a reply to the appraisal request for this camera obscura. It urges caution in using it. Camera you left me, look at the device known as Camera Obscura. Its purpose is to capture images of the supernatural things. Okay, this camera is incredibly... There we go. Incredibly rare, with an almost mythical status in the antiques market. A few have been known to exist, but this is the first I've seen with compound lenses. I don't mean to frighten you, but rumor holds that to own a Camera Obscura is to invite misfortune. They say everyone who has owned one has either died, lost their mind, or gone missing. The cameras themselves have outlived many owners. While some aficionados do seek them out, the stories of previous owners meeting with such misfortune has had an impact on their value as antiques. My camera obscura was left to a local family after its previous owner passed away. They graciously gave it to me. I believe yours is still usable, but please do exercise caution in doing so. Sincerely, Hisuka Kurosa. People definitely used to spend more time with the body than we do now. Yeah. <laughs> P.S. The cover on your camera obscura is broken, but it seems it originally had a box shape. I doubt you'd sell it to me, but I would like to borrow it for a while if you don't mind. I'm happy to compensate. Please think it over. Okay. okay there we go. Uh, there was a way to... Oh, how do I... Manual. Oh god. <laughs> okay. Uh, key configuration. Well then. I forget how to access the photo mode. Whoops. Uh. <laughs> okay. is how I go into this mode. Rens camera. Yeah, that was the story button. Got it. Um, crap, how do I... There was a photo mode. I forgot how to go into the photo mode. Okay. Yep, 
yeah it seems like it's just be careful how you use this very rare and expensive thing Come. ヤマは別の姿。本当の姿を見せる。入るのは自殺しようとする人だけですよ。ね、just Oh yeah, okay, perfect. Rens camera obscura. This type of camera obscura allows you to take multiple photos at once. Use the multi-shot function to take four photos at once, dealing more damage to the gods. Okay, so it's a shotgun. Taking multiple photos at once also helps to get fatal frame shots. After a multi-shot, the camera obscura will take longer than usual to reload the film. Keep in mind that multi-shots quickly use up a lot of film. Also, standard camera obscura lenses do not work with reds. Okay. Hello. Can I move? I cannot uh, press X. Okay. Pew, 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 pew. Uh, can you? Oh crap, I I used up the Type 14. Ah. Okay. How do I... Crap, I'm pressing, pressing all of the buttons. buttons. あと、経営者の一家が住んでいたようですが、北見山全域で大きな地滑りがあり、土砂崩れで埋まってしまったそうです。先生が依頼したアルバムが見つかったのは、旧館の建物みたいですね。ああ、そうらしい。Okay, so it's Mount Kikami, and I was pronouncing it wrong. An old three-story inn stands in silence. The landslide rays down the mountain and through the inn, dumping everything. Can I go in here? Right, yeah, I can. Okay, and does that mean that he also has, like, the gift? The camera is reacting to something. Hold our T to find the train uh, trail. Oh, hello. Has the power to photograph the invisible. I wonder if this is the same as the power he so can use it for her shadow reading. Oh, so the camera gives you the power. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, so let's get it ready for spooks. There's a spook, drowned woman. Uh, can I zoom in? No, oh, I cannot. Yeah. Check. There's a heap of scrap wood at the end of the hallway. The water must have washed it down here. There's a hole in the wall, I can see the next room over, it looks to be just as full of it. Okay. Yeah, this is where we fought the tutorial ghosts. Oops, sorry, Ray. <gasps> oh no. The hatch on the duct has shut itself. It must have been the wind. Yeah, definitely. Hands waving in the dark. Hello! Hi! Uh, that mu they must be at a concert. Mm. 
Okay, there's a thing. There's another thing. Okay. Good. Good. you do have a point. It's like, okay, yeah, whatever. I'm just here for a thing. And the thing is, Rui is... Okay. Rui is very trusting about it as well. Oh, hello. Uh, wait, what? Where? Oh, oh. Ah. <laughs> okay. I even use the multi shots. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for a counter. There we go. Okay, Rui? Yeah, Rui's okay. Just a little bit scared, but eh, yeah. Yeah, he's definitely very chill about all of this. Oh, that was the toe head. There is a step up here, and this part has four boards, I think. It was a display alcove. I see soil on the other side of the boards. The walls and ceiling are war warped, and they're all creaking. The entire building must be buried. and perfect so much easier oh yeah yep 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 definitely I mean ghosts are always a nice cheat hello men shrouded in darkness uh, he was just hanging around the camera is reacting to something maybe I can see something through the viewfinder there we go. I'm gonna switch ammo just to... I mean film. Oh, I need to... Wait, how do I... Oh, there we go. I need to focus on it. Did I? Confused. What's going on? D. 
did I forget how to interact with this? a large hole at the bottom of the wall I can see so okay okay phantom expose get your camera ready and search for the object I found the object now what confused okay is there a different object Okay, how the hell? Uh, time for the internet, I guess. Let's see. Uh, Ren Phantom Expose. Fatal frame, maiden of black water. How to take a phantom expose shot? Okay. Okay, fatal frame, maiden black water. Um, auto mode. To rot oh my goodness I had to rotate okay that's weird yeah I forgotten how to play this a crumpled old note has materialized this must be what the camera was reacting to can Rui see it now there's an note lying on the shelf maybe it belonged to someone who lived here how long has it been since I lost everything? The mountain swallowed up half my inn. All I have left is that old album of post-mortem photographs, the one left by my father. I don't even know who th th uh, these photos are of, but it's the last vestige of family I have. How long have I spent there, uh, here, while we in the darkness? It doesn't matter. I'll burn it all and then there will only be me. I think I went, ended up in the observation room on the roof. The sunset is lovely up there. Cool. So, using this note as a token, I might find a trace that will lead me to some info about the photograph. How do you know? The flames are calling that picture, it's all because of that picture. Okay. Oh, are they implying that... Someone took a picture of 
someone's soul and then they ruined this place basically Ah, okay, okay. Sheesh. Okay, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? It's a good thing that they are not attacking Rui. Oh, uh, just as I said that. Yes, no hurts. Okay. Okay, cool. Hmm. I cannot take a picture. Oh, it's because they are enemies. Okay. Well. Chill out, lady. Oh god. They are trying to flank me. Oh no. That's that's good. Also, I forgot what was the dodge button. It was probably like B or something like that. Okay, good. Why is it a VCR? of VHS. <laughs> ah, right, yes, that makes sense. glance oh that was I guess that was like a finishing move ah. See what are on the first floor through the gaps in the floor. I don't think I can get through here. Sangai no Beranda of Miyagirito, Dareka got me all steer to you, was a guy. Sumimasa.
Okay, I'm good. Wait, I didn't check out his camera. Okay, 70 out of 99. Upgrades. Switch. Measure. An equipment upgrade that displays the current health of a locked on enemy. Oh, okay. Where? <laughs> Evade an equipment upgrade that allows you to detect. Yeah, uh, okay. Enhancements. Right, I can buy buffs. Okay. I'm just trembling when the, the hands will try to grab me. Ceiling has collapsed, blocking the hallway. Don't think I can get back to the stairway without cutting through the rooms. My flashlight won't penetrate the thick glass. Perhaps the landslide buried the building even up to this floor. Or, you know. Yeah, save on textures. Yeah, like I said, this feels like a point and click adventure game. Kind of, you know, very on rails point and click adventure game, but with all of these descriptions of items that you encounter. It has that vibe, I guess. I see the first floor through the big hole in the middle of the room. I think I'm directly above the room I first came in through. It's locked. I can't open it. The camera is reacting to the door. What? <laughs> okay. Um, hold LT until the viewfinder. Where was this hint? Like five minutes ago. <laughs> okay, I need to go down there. Got it. There's something in the photo. Photograph shows the deck with its hatch open. Photo must be showing me the location of the key. Yeah, it must. Where is it? It's showing me something somewhere, but... Oh, there he is. Hello, dude. There's a soiled notebook here, like the one found in the in the old building. It looks like it belonged to the innkeeper. Even before the landslide, there were always strange going-ons around here. Some years ago, two girls went missing on a college field trip. The police were stumped. A few days later, one of the girls turned up again, seemingly out of her mind. There were lots of theories, but most people believed they were simply spirited away. The girl came back each year to look for her friend, like some sort of pilgrimage. Countless people have gone missing here over the years. We're all used to it by now. Oh, is that the same girl? Is that Fuyuhi? Or Fuyuhi or however you say it. My father was spirited away too, as was the folklorist Keiji Watarai. Next. It will be my turn, I bet. I'll vanish with the rest of them. I doubt anyone will think to come looking for me. Okay. Right 
Where did they come from? Like, yeah, this is basically the same type of uh, or maybe it's the other way around the the hotel level from Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines is, you know, kind of like this you go around uh, dilapidated building and there's ghosts and you kind of piece together what has happened through newspapers and other notes left around oh god there's a weird noise Touch to the deck is now open. There is something in there among the pipes. Okay, key on yellow keychain. Uh, right, okay, I gotta go upstairs. Got it. Attack me, dude. Attack me, not her. Her? Him? Oh. Uh. Oh, dodge. Oh, come on. I pressed the dodge, but... Come back, please. Okay, fatal frame. That means that they died. Okay. So if, if I'm fast enough, I can get more points. Got it. Thank you, game. Yeah, and it, if... If you can make a cool environment... Cool, I mean... A spooky environment and litter it with story bits everywhere there you have it you have a a horror game oh is this like a boss fight Wow, okay, chill. Oh, there's the health in the upper left. Or, well, over here. Ah -ha -ha. It's interesting how faces just come out of them. Oh, 
Okay, he's almost done. Where? Where? Oh no! Okay, can I touch you? Uh, that sounded weird. Okay, the ghost left something behind when it disappeared. A, a soil note. Looks like it was left by innkeeper. This place has gone from a tourist hotspot to a suicide hotspot. But I suppose that was always the case. The mountain and death go together side by side. Mikumori was once known as the Grove of Shrine Maidens, a sacred grove where the mountain's maidens oversaw the deaths of pilgrims easing their passing to the other side. I like that, I envy it. I wish someone would be there to see me off. Well... Was that the man who wrote this note? Okay, e hmm. come on Ren, you pieced together how the camera works, that these are ghosts, that like... There's a bunch of crazy stuff going on and you didn't piece together that that was the man, the innkeeper. Maybe I'll find that out upstairs. Wow, I missed a, a jumper. Okay. Is this the end of the episode? Oh, hello. Oh. I thought this was a battle. Then this was just extra points. Oh well. I don't know if I expected it or if it was... What? Where? Who? What? Or if it was the lack of a uh, bluegy woogie woo. But it wasn't that spooky, I guess. You got mirror stone. What does it do? A black stone that emits, the, that emits a mysterious light. If you run out of health, it will protect you. Okay, so it's an extra life. Got it. I think, can I check uh, up? Right, I don't have a... That's actually... Going back to a cool environment and littered with story. Wasn't that uh, one of the... Oh crap, what was it called? One of the games that got some attention last year that originally was a was a Skyrim mod and then they remade it to a um, Forgotten Isle maybe uh, something in Rome where you go back in time the door won't budge something must be blocking it from the outside there's an R door Forgotten City? Forgotten Isle? The Forgotten City, I think it was. Uh, okay, so he has a... Uh, Knife in the back, he has a... Has a noose around his neck and then he jumped. Eesh. Forgotten city, yeah, Roman times, yes. Suicide note. A uh, scrap of notebook paper on the floor, it looks like there's something written on. The sunset beckons, it's calling me into the water, this is the right thing to do. Okay.
Ah, uh, missed it. You can see into the room through the shutter window. It has been completely burned. There is nothing left. Ah, I thought I... I thought I had it. from the other side. Hey, where do I... Where do I enter through though? Oh, that one, okay. Staring at something, okay. This whole room is charred. The man might have left something behind. If he did, it will likely be hidden. hair clipping saving okay run So good. Oh, I can get an extra shop with ruined uh, in the frame. Come on. I want to see the health, the hit points, the snapshot points, I guess. There we go, one more should do it. Yeah. Come on. There we go. Everyone is so extremely slender in this game. Oh, snap!
Okay, looks like Rui sees her as well. Maybe. Oh. Oh, crap. I don't want hugs. Go away. Okay, uh, where is Rui? I want extra power. Yes, thank you. If I'm doing this setup, it just kind of wastes time, it seems. There we go, the extra faces. What? Where? Oh, Long Johnson. Oh, I could have uh, followed up with an extra shot. Okay, halfway there. That's good. Okay, that was good. <sighs> Alright. Fatal frame. Can I touch? Can I touch? Uh, again, kind of inappropriate, but you know. Okay, two maidens down. Okay, that was the smartest thing someone in this game said. We're leaving. Let's get out of here. A woman dressed it like a shrine maiden. Is she connected to a note that I found? There's a note here. It seems to have been signed a little by a singed, <laughs> a little by fire. The album of postmortem photographs was assembled by a folklorist who lived in the mountain. His name was Keiji Watarai. He became fascinated by the custom and moved to Mount Hikami to study how it spread through Japan. My father seemed to take an interest in these photos as well. Strange foreign customs always fascinated him. When he was running in, he helped Watarai collect post-mortem photographs from the nearby town. On Mount Hikami, Hikami, water itself was deified. It seemed it seems like Watarai wa wanted to get a deeper understanding of this unique outlook so he set up a house in the forest to experience it firsthand. He was greatly aided by my father who had already set up the inn by that point. He remodeled it from an old unused shrine. I think he thought the extra religious heft would help attract more visitors. One day the folklorist went missing. Several people formed a search party but they were unable to find a trace. Even the road to his house seemed to have been lost to the woods. My father scoured the mountain too, but all he found was that photo album. He was soaking wet when he got back. I remember he was acting strangely. His eyes had this curious glint, almost like he'd been possessed by something. The next thing I knew, my father went missing as well. I'd forgotten about the photos until I found them in the old building after the landslide. But now I understand why my father left. What are I do? These photos are so beautiful. For Chris, who he, I mean, Hisoka probably has some books around about him. We should go back. Rui needs to rest. Okay, the photo album left behind by the innkeeper was put together by Folkrist. Yes, thank you for the summary. As Ren and Rui explored the inn and traced the spirit of its owner, a ghost tried to lure Rui to suicide. Then. Through the pouring rain, an ominous shrine maiden appeared. Ren and Rui left the mountain with more questions than when they started. Hey, there we go, Ranke. Hey, happy, happy. 
Oh, if I catch everything, I wonder if the highest rank is like S. That's usually the case, isn't it? All right, 54 minutes, exactly like one episode. Ah, oh, this is a good. Yeah, I want to draw this. Interlude, Shadow Reading, Yuri Kozukata. <gasps> Yuri! With, Hitsu uh, with Hitsuka still missing, Yuri recalls that she witnessed on what she witnessed on the mountain. Fuyuhi taking her own life while entranced by a malevolent spirit and the bodies of dead shrine maidens washed up at the pool of purification. These disquieting images left uh, leave Yuri with no doubt that Mount Hikami houses some kind of horrifying secret. Yeah. No shit. Yuri takes the camera obscura that she found on the mountain and begins searching for a token that will lead her to Hisoka. Wait, what? Okay, I was expecting the end of the episode, but I mean, it did say interlude. Alright, what's going on? So I put this desk here for me, yes, yes, yes. Okay, we are back at Dean. That's nice. The sound of raindrops on the window echoes faintly. I actually don't mind rainy days. Can I get out of here? Sokka's camera obscure is on the desk. I shouldn't go anywhere without it. Oh, yeah. Shadow on water. This is the only picture from the camera obscure that shows anything. A dark silhouette standing on what looks like a body of water. The other photos are no good, they're all black, as if they were exposed to strong light. It doesn't tell me anything, maybe there are more clues in Hisoka's room. Right, let's see, which year is it? Okay, let's try to figure this out. When was May first on a Thursday? <laughs> Wait, what's this? Is this a jar of clams? I'm so confused. What? I don't don't know what that is. Sesame seeds? Those are some giant sesame seeds, man. Oh, oh pretty. Yeah, how the hell do I? How... how do I... I wanna activate the... the um, photo mode, but... I don't know how. <laughs> okay, let's investigate. <gasps> Hello? Oh, that's the shadow thingy. Oh god, the boob jiggle. She liked to sit at her desk to relax. The Japanese style of the room helped her distress. Yeah, that's that's actually very nice. Uh, shader effect maybe? Uh, 
I'm trying to figure out if it's looped. I don't want to go into the... Oh wait, is there? <laughs> what was that indeed? Is there something in that room? Yeah, is there a security camera? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, I just want to explore stuff before progressing the story. There's an old file on top of some luggage. Akari Narumi. Akari? Akari? Narumi? It looks like a report on a shadow reading case, but most of it has been erased, making it difficult to read. Uh, Akari, client Kyoko. Kyoko. Personal photo, details. Subject deceased, nothing I could do. Girl in school uniform, he's been crumpled up so many times you can't make out the face. Oh, But she was here, so, you yeah. know. Maybe she wasn't deceased? on my bullshit and looking up old CRT monitors and then I realized that I I don't have a way to connect them to my computer because I only have like HDMI and and display ports Usually, like the older um, motherboards would have a built in VGA SWAT, but yeah. Yeah, can make a. What do you call it? A daisy chain of converters. But that kind of degrades maybe the thing I don't know might might lose a millisecond <laughs> this leads to the bathroom Hisoka prefers a large I have to look up how it is pronounced whether it is is it whether it is Hisoka or Hisoka Hisoka I think it's Hisoka I don't know Prefers a large bathtub, but it's too large for me to relax comfortably. It's vertical. It's all the way from the top to the bottom. I think. Maybe. It's not each plate of the window, but... Anyway. Door is closed as usual. Okay, let's check in the front of the cafe. Used to make me a cup of coffee every day. Of 
we're closing drinking that rich warm coffee was always so comforting i am always so confused about people drinking coffee in the afternoon or the evening like in the late afternoon because coffee and caffeine usually keeps me awake for like a dozen hours after I drink it. Seems you're pronouncing Hisoka correctly. Hisoka with the accent on the second vowel. Not vowel, but uh, what do you call it? Uh, syllable? Syllable. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if I drink some coffee, I would be. Well, I did just have some black tea, so I am expecting to be awake until like 2 a.m. again. Ah. Yeah, it just doesn't affect some people apparently. Yeah, that's true. I wonder if it's something genetic or just, you know, body chemistry and stuff. Oh, that's a nice picture. Yeah. I would like to draw this as well. Okay, open. The camera obscura is reacting to it. in Portugal everyone slammed espresso at 10 p.m. yeah that's hmm there's something in the picture this is the storeroom on the first floor okay see what's this volcano glass glow dry gin boyasan Edinburgh Oh, another nice picture. Oh. Right, and the working mirror. Let's see. Oh, wow. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. Uh, that, uh, what? I, I, I'm guessing it's... There's a larger camera. Uh, which <laughs> can be used and considering this was out on the Wii U it's a good thing like it's what like six seven years old at this point still pretty decent Okay, storage room. Where was the storage room? Down here, I think. Yeah. It's a small key, yay. Let's go get the desk. Oh, wait, okay. Miku Hinosake. <laughs> he has so many questions about her outfit. Yeah, I mean... Japanese video game protagonist outfit. It has to be... special. Unless it's like Yakuza or something like that. Miku Hinosake. Client Sachi Ayama. Friend, token, personal photo, disappeared searching for her missing brother, but was found. Mother of one, father unknown, disappeared. Again, three years later, note, photographer, client is her daughter's guardian. Search abandoned, attempted, 
shadow reading several times, but traces were too weak to follow suspect. Uh, suspect subject is alive, but a newer or stronger token is required. I m it may be that the subject does not want to be found. Miku Hinasaki. Is that one of the previous protagonists? A warm but lonely expression. She looks like she might fade away at any moment. Tsubugi Katashiya. It looks like there are a few more pages in here. Personal photo, unstable family tendency to blame herself for it. Strife with her half-sister, bears self-inflicted wounds. Strict family may be the cause. We'll ask doctor for care after subject is found. Search abandoned, contacted by the family. Mother has been turned over to the police, have been asked to drop the investigation. Tsumugi. Her face seems tinged with sad sadness. She's still missing, but her family has given up the search. Yuri, Kozukata. Case closed is written in large red letters. Personal photo, emotionally unstable after family lost in accident, stopped going to school a few days ago. Neighbors say she left home as normal, claimed to see things are again, now recovered, taken into custody, observation required safely in my custody. Believe close attention is necessary, we'll look after her for a while. E that's us. A high school graduation photo, just look at that intense expression. I wonder how much I've changed since then. I still have a hard time looking at mirrors. No, oh, that explains some stuff. They're all from previous games. Okay, I think. Okay, so that was a way to kind of connect the series, it seems. Okay. I am ready to use the camera. Okay, yeah, let's look at the clothes. What's up with the band on her left leg? Ah, uh, don't turn around, I wanna look at your legs. Ah, uh, yeah, whatever. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. Weird. Hmm. Just... Decoration, I guess. Yeah, but why is it only, like... What's it... What? I don't... Uh. Okay. Smoky, he used to open the, the drawer. There was a file tucked away in the desk drawer. It contains photos of several sheets of paper. Haruka Momose, Fuyuhi Himino. Himino? Oh. Personal photo client and subject used to be cafe regulars. A group suicide was reporting at the time of disappearance. Connection unknown. A quiet, gentle girl seemed keen to please others. Yeah, there's the girl. Mew, Hinosaki. Mew. Oh, right. That was the at the start of the game, the prologue. So she's like related to the protagonist of the first game, I guess. Hmm. Interesting. S. E. Ayama. Poster mom, personal photo, went looking for her birth mother, missing since subject's childhood. Oh, she's the daughter of the protagonist of the first game. Missing since subject's childhood, muttered something about mom Hikami. 
According to her talent agent. Talent agent? Okay. Said to possess psychic powers. Client is very worried. A photo of a slender, elegant young woman. So this is new. A cassette tape from an answer answering machine. The label shows a date and a client's name. So we are in the 90s or early 2000s because there's like no mobile phones as far as I can tell and there are CRTs everywhere okay let's double check the calendar uh, I wanna go back to let's go with 98 May it's a Friday 97 was a Thursday okay whatever missing person file for one Kazuki Sakaki I've heard Hisoka mention that name before. Ren Hojo, yeah, that's the other protagonist, the dude. Personal photo known to wander off. <laughs> Went incommunicado while gathering post-mortem photographs for Ren, awaiting possible contact. Gives a bad impression, seems quite unlike Ren. Okay, Kazuya Sakaki. He's a friend of Ren's, but I've never met him. There was a journal tucked away in the drawer. It looks like some notes relating to clients. Met with a potential, cl potential client. Doesn't know whether subject is alive or dead. Says she may have wandered off somewhere. May be waiting for help. Doesn't want to leave home in case subject comes back on her own. I tripped up, said something I shouldn't have. I asked what she'd do when we find her. She laughed and said, when she gets back, there are things I want to tell her. She, her smile looked forced. She looked worn down by it, though I should mind my own business. I'm worried about leaving Yuri alone, but this one is urgent. No time to lose, I have to go. All these missing person cases. Okay. I may be able to track her down if I use this photograph. What again? Uh, can I check? So no, Japanese style, full length mirror. I've never liked looking into mirrors. Okay. It's weird that, like, the boob jiggle is dependent on the camera. Is it? Or does she reorient herself? It's so weird, it's like jelly. Ugh, anyway. Okay, so let's go out. Can I just jump over? Uh, too much Monster Hunter rides. <laughs> Okay, that's interesting. I used like three different buttons to open the doors. Okay. This time I'm the one who save who will save you. Okay, using the camera obscure, you already found a number of missing person case files. Connected to Mount Hikami, she is now more determined than ever to head back into the mountain and find Isoka. <laughs> yeah, I can do a, a Leon. Alright, so that was the third drop and the interlude. Eh, took a little bit more time, but eh, what you gonna do? Alright, um... Yeah, I think I'm gonna take... Um, I, I was thinking either a break or to call it a day, but since I haven't slept much, I think I'm gonna call it a day. And yeah, I will continue this again next week, because it's starting to pick up and I kind of want to see where this is going. Um, yeah, I kind of like these games so far. 
Alright, looks like the interlude and the prologue are not uh, tracked. They don't have a score. Well, that's nice. But yeah, let's check out the. Yeah, uh, can I zoom in? No. Groom's outfit. Oh, yes, I can unlock outfits. Yeah, one unlock an outfit. Let's see. Pumpkin Sambo. How much is it? 10,000. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> okay, sure. Cutesy Goth and Sambo. Black. Auto. Swimsuit. Ah, uh, let's not do that. I imagine it's very. Um. You know. Miku Hinasaki outfit. The Tormented. Cutesy Goth and Sambo. Okay, cute. <laughs> yeah, I'll get demonetized. <laughs> okay, so these are previous uh, games. Oh, wait, what? I can zoom in. Oh, she, get, she gets an uh, eyeliner. Okay. Ah, that's... The... Uh, what do you call it? Belts? Uh, crap, not belts, but... The things hanging from the left and right. Ah, I forgot what you call them. Anyway. Okay, yeah. Well... Yeah, I think I will continue... Next week, at around the same time. Maybe I'll start earlier, because... Uh, suspenders, yes, thank you. Um, because... I started an hour later than usual today, and... Um, Well, I will play some more of this. Interesting. Main visual style. Main visuals. Okay. We will check these art books at a later date. Alright, yeah. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out, you guys. And have a nice day, night, or whatever, as usual. Uh, yeah. It's been fine. Fun. Yes. Thanks for watching. Alright. Bye-bye.